as we gear up for that huge game against Spurs this weekend. We're also looking ahead to one of the biggest events in sporting history. This is City Today. Well, as we travel to White Hart Lane on Sunday, ahead of that, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather step into the ring in Las Vegas. It's the fight that everyone is talking about and it's split the dressing room too. So earlier this week, we caught up with the players to find out who they are backing to win. Uh, Pacquiao. Why? For your reason? Because he's a nice bloke. <laughs> <laughs> I want Pacquiao to win. Yep. But I think Mayweather will win. Mayweather is going to win. Yeah. Yeah, I would like Pacquiao, but it's Mayweather's going to win. Who's going to win? Uh, Pacquiao. <laughs> Mayweather. Uh, I think Mayweather will win. I like boxing. Do you like boxing? I'm from the lab. We need love, that's why. Manuel Pellegrini has confirmed Yaya Torre, Vincent Company and Stefan Jovetic will not feature against Spurs this weekend as they continue to recover from injury. It's our final game in the capital this season and a win is a must as we aim to secure Champions League qualification. Uh, two good home wins, obviously a few difficult away days recently, we need to put that right and win the game and finish the season well. You actually have a decent enough record at Spurs. How, how difficult do you think it will be to, to get the three points? Yeah, it's always difficult. We've, we've actually played really well there when we've got the good results recently, so hopefully we can do that again. You know, Sergio only played 45 minutes last year, but he was, you know, inspirational. So another good performance from, from the boys, and, you know, we'll look for another three points. Our elite development squad are through to the International Premier League Cup final after a win over Leicester at our Academy Stadium last night. A 2 all scoreline sent the game to extra time, substitute Manu Garcia eventually sealing the win. They'll now face Porto for the chance to win silverware. Our women's team also have silverware on their mind in the FA Women's Cup. They beat Birmingham to go through to the semi-final and face Chelsea on Bank Holiday Monday. We've got to make sure that we go and win on Monday. We've got a chance to play at Wembley and I think that should be our incentive over the next few days in training to make sure that we are fully focused to do our best to go and beat Chelsea. Yeah, of course, it's been a bit frustrating. I had a really good pre-season. I felt fit and sharp and unfortunately got injured playing for England. So it's been a frustrating five, six weeks, but I've been full training with the team for the last two or three weeks and feeling good and ready to go, depending on selection, hopefully play some part in the game. Well, we're here at this primary school in Manchester where today James Milner is handing over a cheque to the NSPCC as part of his James Milner Foundation. The NSPCC is a charity that James has supported for 10 years and one of three charities helped by the James Milner Foundation. Taking part in this special assembly at this primary school in Beswick, he was joined by City Women Captain and Foundation Patron, Steph Horton. Yeah, we're here primarily to present a cheque to NSPCC for the... Um for the money we've raised over the last 18 months or so uh, and to see uh, one of the assemblies, we did it last year and uh, come to another school and, and watch the assemblies the NSPCC and Childline put on. You know, the volunteers do a great job and um, you know, kids are brilliant actually, some of their answers um, were a lot better than I'd have given so uh, yeah, it, it shows that the, the, the talks work. Well that's the latest from us, we'll see you next week. <laughs>